After recording using Screencastify, a preview screen will pop up to preview your video recording before deciding to share, whether it be uploading into Google Drive and getting a shareable link or uh, moving it up to YouTube on your YouTube channel or getting a link there. First of all, what happens, you will see that it has untitled screencast. I go up and put sub plans for whatever day. And this one is April 4, 2016. And I close and it changes the name right away. Then I go up to share in the upper right hand portion of the screen. I, when I do sub plans, I put it on Google Drive. It'll have a, um, you can copy this link, but you want to check on the privacy because it does default to private. I've already changed it to unlisted or you could do public, whichever you prefer. And then copy that link. What I like to do to make it easier for the sub, then I move and I have tinyurl.com forward slash create and I paste my link in there. And now I'm going to give it a name. Doll Science, so you can see I've already played with this. Doll Science, April 4th, 2016. And I'm going to make this URL. And, you, and then I go right in this area, right in the center here, tiny URL. I highlight this. You don't need the HTTP copy. Then I move to my sub plans and right in there, I paste it and it says, you know, to show this video, tinyurl.com forward slash doll silent science um, dash April dash four dash 2016. So it makes it easier for the sub to punch it in. Um, in addition, I often and coming more frequent, I share this the sub plans right with the class using the email option to share via Google Classroom. So there are sub plans and uh, sharing them with the sub and with the class.